Zechariah chapter 1 verse 3. Let's hurry up. Zechariah 1 verse 3. Therefore say thou unto them, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you. Can I tell you, don't expect God to turn to you if you have not turned to him. You turn to him as a sign of your desperation. As a sign of your desperation. There is, there is nothing so, there is nothing as powerful as a believer coming to God and saying, Lord, thank God for all these things I have. My business connections, thank God for the intelligence, I have degrees, I have all of this. But I stand before you, O oh God, and I acknowledge that if you do not open a door, in this Abuja, that door will not be opened. If you do not open a door, it will not be opened. And God says, in spite of all these things, you still have the sense to look unto me. Now, the Bible says, they looked unto him and their faces were lightened. Do you know why several people, especially in this season, continue to fall victims of shame and the rest in spite of whatever qualifications? I will tell you why. Because when God wants to use people, He uses you in a way that all men will see that it is His power at work in you. And if for any reason you have the tendency of pushing Him in front of the stage light, you will not do business with God. Over dependence on the strength of the flesh. Over dependence. We have to repent of this pride. Not just men of God. I tell you, this, this, our generation is so arrogant. Building of empires. It is by my strength. Every man was a baby in the hand of a woman one day. We have to be careful. There is a God who sits the monarch of the universe. And we must be careful. Let our preachers, let's be careful. As God keeps doing mighty things through our lives. We must be careful. Let members know we are men. It's just that we are of God. This, this system of self-glorification, there is a difference between honor and pride. Go and read your Bible and see what happened to people who refused to acknowledge God. We give you the highest, the highest praise to the King. I give you the loudest. Yeah. I lift my holy hands. I give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. I give you worship, worship. You have taken all the pain, you have taken all the sorrows, you have taken all limitations, you have taken all the tears, you have made them yours. Listen, lesson number one this night, if you want God to use you this year, let your knees be close to the ground. When men clap for you and say you built this house in two months, you bought this house, 500 million, like buying a recharge card. The moment you want the devil to help and massage your back, Satan kills. Don't forget, he's a thief. He will first clap for you before he kills you. May this be the year where God will heal through you, man of God. And when people begin to idolize you, you say, listen, I thank God for using me, but let me tell you sincerely, there is one who is mightier than I am. I'm only a vessel. Over dependence. Business people, let me encourage you. The person talking to you is not stupid. God gave us brains. That is true. But there is something about depending on him. God knows that I depend on him. This ministry depends on him for everything. We may not know everything it takes to succeed 
from a psychological standpoint from a from an intellectual standpoint and we will continue to learn but can i tell you and the lord walking with them that was the secret confirming the word with signs following you think technology can turn hiv uh, positive to negative just like that Thank God for the advancement in medicine and gynecology and all of these things. Have you not seen people who have tried everything and yet no child? This is a message God is speaking to someone already. The day you stop depending on your power, can I tell you, go and carry your certificate. Go and carry your, your real estate company registration. Drop it on the ground and say, Lord, you are exalted above it. You are exalted above it. You are carry your ID card. I know you work with World Bank. I know you work with all. Drop it on the ground and say, Lord, I depend on you. Let the mockers laugh at you while you are depending on him. And he continues to lift you. We give you worship. Worship. The highest praise to the king. We give you worship. Worship the highest praise to the King. We bow down, we bow down the deepest worship to the King. We lift up holy hands. Read your Bible and see why God or not solomon so much there's no time i would have shown you there are two reasons why god lifted solomon one was because of his sacrifice but two was because of the nature of his dependence in asking for god gave him a a blank check what do you want including your enemies he did not say give me wisdom go and read it he said lord are you see you know the kind of person you have called as limited as i am like this I am unable to lead this your people. So please, grant unto your servant an understanding heart. And the Bible says it pleased the Lord. He said, because you have not asked for this, or the life of your enemies, or this and that and that, you have asked for understanding to discern judgment. He said, I will give you, verse 12 now says, I will give you all of these things and understanding heart, so that there is no man like you. 13, in addition to this, I will give you the things you have not asked for. Both riches and honor. That means riches and shame can go together. Dependence. Apostle, I just got an award. I came back from Harvard. I'm the best student. It's impossible for Nigeria to reject me. <laughs> You go and read about your country. Someone can be in his room just crying and say, Lord, this is not self-condemnation. I hope you understand what I'm teaching you. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.